I thought that I was ineligible to have a sexual life of any kind. I typically describe myself as a sex surrogate. I've done a lot of work with disabled couples. I've done work with women who are disabled and helping them to explore their sexuality. It's about them getting a very clear understanding of what actually happens when adults have sex as opposed to what they've seen in the media. For example, that could be helping a client with their masturbation practice because that may be something that they feel very ashamed about or even embarrassed. Typically with my clients who have a disability, the first part of my work with them is meeting them and really understanding what it is they want help with but also really getting a feel for what their environment, their living situation is, and, and also fully understanding their, you know, their physical situation, what are their limitations, are the things that we need to, to consider in our work together. Uh, working with a sex surrogate has blasted a great big rocket propelled grenade through the myth that I am disabled. I have therefore relinquished the right to sexual expression. That's bollocks. Tom, for a long, long time, wanted to address his difficulties around his sexuality. For the most part, sex is not really talked about. So we've been sort of, you know, building this sort of, like a, almost like a, a frustration. I brought this just as a consideration, Tom. Um, if you're using this, your, your penis is totally enclosed, which that's not something you can easily do with your hand. Luckily, he had one carer, a female carer, who he confided this in, and she was completely supportive of him, and she encouraged him to do something about it. As a carer, am I allowed to be anywhere near any of this going on? Because your first thought is, is that legal? But I didn't know this was, this service was on offer to people. You know, it's not sordid like people would assume, and they, and they do. It, it's just a massive impact on a person that, that's entitled to it. He's, he's a lot happier. He's a, he's a much happier person, and his frustrations just in general life seems to have, have changed. He's, he's, he's changed quite a lot, yeah. For me, it's quite rewarding to see that journey that Tom's been on. If by working with someone, I can help them or I can support them finding some more joy or a greater sense of self, then that for me is 